Welcome, 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 Mark Champion 131. Zoom. More room. Got the Cleo in the back. Got the muses. It's a lovely day. Uh, let's do some breathing. Let's do some breathing. So we should now be on the uh four for fours. There we go. Four breathing. We'll go for what eight, ten minutes. Fifteen if you're nasty. Hey. Four and four. So breathing in four. And out for whenever you're breathing, you can don't worry about trying to clear your mind, trying to clear your thoughts. Uh, you know, if you want. So you can say a couple words just for this time. Um, just for this moment, just for this exercise, while we are here doing our breathing, what we're going to do is we're going to count, count your breaths mentally. With your eyes closed, you got your screen there. Go ahead and write. Go ahead and write one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Do it. Watch your breath. What do you want when you're breathing in? What are you asking for? Are you looking for peace, looking for love, looking for understanding, looking for a kick in the butt? <laughs> what, are you, what, are you, what are you looking to unlock within? Even if you're just here on some, man, I'm just, I just want to be able to calm down. Well, calming down is something that we've been told and programmed since we were kids. So it would be natural for any of us to want to find a breathing exercise so we can calm down. Now, what are you gonna do when you calm down? Why do you need to calm down? Hmm? Hmm? So you want, because while we're doing this, I look at it like, by the end of this? Well, not even by the end or whatever. However, I mean, we're a couple of days into it. So I look at it like in another, every day, every single day, we get better. Every single day, more information can flow. Every single day, uh, you're talking to your body, you're talking to your cells. The breathing is there. So you're doing it. You're exactly doing it. You're doing it. You are doing it. All right. Well, let's go. And of course, with the uh, pranayama, if you would like, um, you can also refer back to what we looked at the other nine. Do I have a pranayama book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pranayama. The 14, oh, pranayama, the Vedic science of breath, 14 ultimate breathing techniques to calm your mind, relieve stress, and heal your body. So of course the uh, pranayama breathing a lot different than the dancing and, but I mean, when you look at it, it's literally an as above, so below. It's a correspondence there. This one, feeling it with the dance, low dancing and you're feeling the dancing and with your, with your stomach. That belly breathing. This one you're doing with the chest. You want that heat. You want that increased circulation. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that we're going about. It. These are the things that are just happening just because you're breathing. So 
You can check that book out. There's many more. Many more. Many more. Uh, today is Wednesday. And although the 12th, one, two, three, so those numbers not exactly lining up for that in that arena. But what I do know is that Wednesday is mm, wait a minute, Sunday, red, Monday, orange, Tuesday, yellow. Oh, we're on green. We're not on blue. Blue is tomorrow. For Thursday. So let's go to green. Got some green magic, which is great because that's actually going to be what we're going to be on for today. So green magic. Let's get it. What you think you know, like I ramble. And they're good rambles. We do the breathing. And after that, I might do a little bit more talking. Other than that. Enjoy. You know what you hear from. You already know what you hear from. That's good. Go somewhere. Go to the mountain. Go to the beach. Go 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 to the ocean. Go to your grandma's house. Go to the woods. Go to the forest. Go to your closet. Go to your rooftop. Go to a planet. Go wherever you need to go. Do what you got to do. Let's just get that breathing. Okay. This is 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 there a reason this isn't connecting? Yes, and the reason is. Yes. So 
Am so Am so Am so Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am So Am 
So, while we were breathing, um, I would say I do the counting at the very beginning, and by the time I don't know how long into, but that would be something dope to be able to uh, just write down like how far into the uh, breathing exercises for myself, do I then, it's like I'm breathing, I'm counting, I'm here, and then I'm somewhere else, and then I go somewhere else, and then where? The breathing for me, after a few minutes, I literally go into higher self mode to where now we're doing something. We're, we're doing some type of work spiritually, mentally that I want to do here, that I, that I gotta bring here. 
Now, it may not be exactly that because I give hugs. I love to give hugs. And I give her hugs to certain people, certain people's faces, names, just it's like spirit to be like, all right, this person, that, that, this situation, that energy, that energy, that energy. You know, I need you to go over here. I need you to go over there. No, I need you to go there. I need you to hug this person. I need you to hug this situation. I need you to hug that person. I need you to hug that situation. Hug that situation and hug that situation. Hug that situation. Thank them. Um, gratitude. Uh, forgiveness of self. Um, forgive them as well. And then we keep going. So, um, So I would, so with that experience, with those experiences that have been happening more and more as we do this daily, and I would say for the most part, we're doing three of these a day, three 10 minute breathing exercises and recording those. And also uh, uh, recording, reading a book and getting some comprehension out of that. What do we, what do we find out of that? Taking notes, uh, certain deities, uh, going into the chakras, um, sigils, creating sigils, uh, energy signatures. The more I do, the better it is for me. So I'm gonna roll with that. Um, The people that I hug in my mind show up. Who that? Mommy. Oh, you're leaving? Cooler. I've already been gone. Got the Twin Oaks, and I was like, the dang cooler. I love you. Bye. I said bye twice to you. I said, I'm leaving. Bye. Thought you heard. Bye. <laughs> Samuel. Mommy's Kids. Yes, I'll continue that breathing. Oh, um, today. At the law of the day, chapter five on uh, develop intuition and your psycho psychic abilities by David Furlong, chapter five. Uh, what we pick up from there? there? Universities of the mind. Right now, I don't have the book. I just listen. I just, I just be listening in and taking notes because I don't have a book. So it's it's dope, dope. Because just just because you ain't got a book, don't don't mean you can't take take notes and grab some understanding out of there. Because I guarantee, whenever you are, it's like showing up somewhere and somebody being like, "Well, do you have this? Do you have that? Do you have that? Do you have that? Do you have that?" No. Well, just. Come on in and have a have a seat. I got a pad and pen. I got a phone. I can take some notes. I can. I got ears to hiss, listen. I got, you know, I got a, I got senses. I can feel. I can feel the energy around. So you know, um, as above, so below. The correspondence, reflection of you. Uh, the more we share, the more growth we have, and uh, the more levels of consciousness we reach. Um, the myths of the deities and goddesses and gods and energy streams and you know those symbols the spiritual forces help understand your place in the cosmos and looking at it some of the breathing that we do here is literally for that enemy within that enemy within your within yourself that you keep battling with, you know? Um, um, do I smoke today? Um, 
do I drink today? Um, do I call that person back? Um, do I take that job? Um, do I watch the news again? Do I go on Twitter again? Yeah, I'm not gonna, I, I'm gonna scroll, but I ain't gonna scroll this much. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, uh, why didn't I text that person back the other day? Or why did that person call me? Or why did they leave that message? Or why did they think that I could do something like that? Or why would why would they pick me? Or why me? All the stuff is you keep battling. You know, you know what I'm saying? God and the devil. Boom, 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 boom. You battling yourself, but you are the hero in all of this. Look at that. And that is from, um, what is that book? <laughs> I'm just going to tell you. Be like, it's from my mouth. Nah. It'll be intuition, encyclopedias. It'll put like $17, $20, $25, something like that. Came out 2008. So, you know, that's 10 right there. But yeah, David Furlong, you got some other books. You check them out too. Yeah. Yeah, and um, one of the things that connected me with was uh, work. Doing work, doing work was uh, something I grew up with. My sister and I, uh, my parents had us working, like work, work, work. Like I ain't talking about just chores. I mean chores, <laughs> chores. <laughs> Wash the dish, clean your room, vacuum and stuff. We had to do it all. And I do know those those memories of having to wake up at a certain time, having to go to sleep at a certain time, having to do work for this long, for that long. Um, and, it, and it wasn't just the, you have to work. It's how it is presented to you. It's how you receive, it's how you take it on, all those certain things, right? So. I always had to made to do it, had to do it. And I, which is one of the reasons why I was very good at it, especially out of high school and whatnot. It really didn't bother me that much. While also, I, I could see how I would develop a, if I ain't feeling it, I ain't doing it, point blank, which has helped me in so many things. Helped me in so many things. I used to look at it as a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? I hated working. I hated jobs. I hated being told certain things. I hated being told anything. I didn't authority figures, all that type of stuff. And I'm like, whatever. Um, but now knowing that, when you let go of somebody telling me to do something, I can turn that into this situation is making me better. Okay. And I have everything I need, so this is handled. This is taken care of. Matter of fact, this is some humanity shit. So this is this is taken care of. Uh, and I need not to worry about them. I need not to worry about them. So um, letting go of having to do stuff, blaming my parents and having to work. And I would blame the having to work all the time as a kid, doing stuff, I always having to do stuff, like all that type of stuff. Like I blame them for the lack of friends that I had. Even though I had an abundance, always had an abundance. And I was always going to be able to make friends as well. That's just based on my personality and who I am. Um, when in balance, you know? And then once it gets out of that, it's very easily seen for me, which is why I'm very thankful to be able to be working with my cousin now, literally delivering flooring, wood flooring to people's houses. What did me and my cousin have to do at my parents' house when we was kids? Throw wood. We received the wood. I received the wood when I was a kid. Now I'm out here delivering the wood as an adult. I think that's something. As above, so below. 
correspondences everywhere and recognize what you feel in the experience. And what I recognized for myself was I could go to work. Like it didn't bother me. I didn't hate my job or I didn't hate myself for being at a job or hate myself for working or it wasn't too much. It wasn't uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, there were, there were a lot of things that I held onto and I judged and judged and judged which put me in a shitty attitude. So you see the shitty attitude and we've all been at jobs, we've all been at work. We've all, uh, many, many have had their own businesses as well. And you still get that same, oh, I gotta do the emails. Oh, I have to check this. I have to do my calendar. There's too much stuff. There's too much here. I'm over here. I don't have time. I do that, 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 that. And most of those things are linked to how we grew up, how our parents grew us up on, you know, whatever race you and whatnot. So just know it's all right. And there are many tools that you can use as well. Breathing, pranayama, you want to go Dantian, um, you want to go Dr. Lima Day. Um, man, there's, uh, uh, hmm. Where's the dude with the pyramid? He wears, he has the pyramid over, 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 over on his crown. Him? Uh, breath bender? It's like style bender, but it's something in that form. It has to be. But uh, yeah, just breathe. Just breathe. Because there's a lot of uh, things that we go through that I know that I go through that like that first instance of oh why I gotta it's like eh. once you get it's, uh, it's like it's all right this energy is here we've attracted it here it's here for a reason so you know it's okay you don't have to react every single time someone says that one thing to you you don't have to react every single time the news comes on you don't have to react every time single time you see a post about covid you don't have to react every time you see a see a post about someone getting shot killed and those sort of things and even if you do it's all right it's okay don't blame yourself for that neither don't be so hard on yourself because those triggers are supposed are are going to trigger you in such a way so you can so you can use that work that you've been talking about. You know? That's that trigger, I feel like I feel like that trigger is there so you can use those breathing techniques. The trigger is there so you can use those notes from that book you were reading. Or you can use that le those notes from that lecture that you were listening to two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Them triggers is going to pop up. And then you got those dreams. You got your meditation. Like, you into them crystals. You into them herbs. You know what I'm saying? You into them tea leaves. You into that turro. Like, whatever you into. You now get to use these tools. You get to use these tools. And you can use them on your own accord. You ain't got to check with nobody first. I mean... You know what I'm saying? You got your guys, you're a student. So you don't, when you take on the mindset of, I am a student, I'm a master student. This one, you know what I'm saying? I got my intentions. You're not going to, you're not going to be worried about some of those things in the beginning. All right. But there are steps to get through it. There are. Uh, it's okay. Most, most of us were brought up in that public school system. Um, religion, church, Sunday school, uh, how well? So we all got taught a certain way of accumulating information and cultivating that information. And it's just the way we were taught to accumulate and cultivate. <laughs> it wasn't for us. You know, shouts to those who were able to break those codes and shouts to you for breaking the codes that you broke to get to where you are right now. And shouts to me for 
breaking those codes. You know what I'm saying? Shouts, shouts, shouts to Source for uh, open, opening up those gateways, opening up those portals, and just being like, all right, let's get it. So, continue your breath. That was that 4 4. We're going to jump on that later on today as well. Uh, yeah, keep breathing, man. Keep breathing. We've been talking for what, 16 minutes? That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Mm. So yeah, the breathing helps. The breathing assists. You're talking to yourself. Your cells. You're talking to yourself. Over and over and over and over and over again. What are you saying? Because you talk to yourself with more than just words. You talk with your breath. It's like you can say I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, but you ain't breathing fine though. Your body is saying, mm hmm. And body would be like, well, we need to get to a place where we need to settle down. We need to chill. We like for you to meditate for 10 minutes. And before you ever started meditating, maybe you just wanted to get away. Man, if I could, let me just read for a little bit. Let me get this book. I just want to read for a little bit. I just want to go to the park. I just want to, I just want to go to the park for a little bit and walk. Let me just walk for 30 minutes. Huh. What are you doing there? Focusing, meditating. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Planning, planning your future, envisioning, visualizing what you need to do for the day. What? Huh? what? Meditating. <gasps> are you a spiritual being? And you didn't even want to be? That's all right. Change the word if you want to. It's okay. So, the breath is. The breath is dope. So, on our way out. So, we did the guided meditation. That folk, folk, folk in, folk out. Um, the one we just finished up was uh volume six and that was the three nine i'll tell you it's quite it's quite different to do four in four out after four yesterday doing the three in and nine out Woo! what a change what a change but um <laughs> also want to be in the habit for myself of writing down what visualizations come through during the meditation or the breathing for four We're giving out hugs and gratitude. Yeah. Hey, maybe, hey, sometimes that, maybe that, you know what? Shouts to that. When I'm, when I'm breathing, when I'm in, when I'm focused, when I'm concentrating on what, on bettering myself, it's like myself just be like, all right, let's get it. Finally, we got some space in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's what it feels like. It's like it's like taking that time to breathe. It's like high stuff like oh, um, this motherfucker wanna play. Okay, let's play then. You breathing? You focusing? You getting that circulation going? Oh man, you filtering out that bullshit? Okay. So spirit be like, I right, Nick. You want you want to you want you want to cycle out that bullshit. You want to breathe that bullshit out, and bring in that courage and that love and that light. I right. bam. Let me give you a task. Go hug these niggas. Go hug these situations. Go say hey. Ask somebody how they doing. You know, thank them for the energy 
and the clues and the and the and the lessons they were able to provide. Thank them for that. And did. So hugs, gratitude. Filter out that shit so so you can create space. More room. More room. Oh yeah. Um I will say uh for those who uh are a little taken aback by um language, like um fuck shit, bitch, motherfucker, some bitch, nigga, ass, damn, language like that. Um Do what you do. Maybe I ain't the one for you to uh, be vibing with. But I guarantee you, you can fuck with this pranayama. You can fuck with this vote for vote. So, do what you do. Do what you do. All right, March champ. One through one zone. More room. Four for four breathing. We'll do more later on. But until then, sometimes just gotta tell the truth about yourself, man. Watch out.